Hey Black Hatters, it's Ellie Cat and the Black Hat, and I've got some goodies to show you today. It's not really a haul video, I guess it could be a haul video, a haul video, unboxing video. I got a package today in the mail. It was something I ordered from Love, Light, and Legacy.com. Um, I started following their Instagram uh, because... My friend, Derry, my fairy godmother, she kind of introduced them to me because of their I Am Power deck. And I started following them on Instagram, and I follow um, Devin, um, her Mystic Moon Tarot. And there's another one. I'm trying to think which the, what the other one is. There's like three of hers that I follow that she does. I think it's the... Um, yeah, the I Am Power deck. That's just for the I Am Power deck. And I've been eyeing the I Am Power deck for a really long time. And so I was on the one day and they had, or Devin had, a new thing where you could get their I Am Sacred Bear. Because they started this, like, Sacred Bear thing. And I thought it was so freaking cute and adorable. And I, I love teddy bears. I have a teddy bear obsession. I have a teddy bear collection. So when I saw the, the sacred bear, I was like, oh, that's cute too. And I also like the I Am Power deck and I wanted to get that. And so I was like, do I, do, what do I do? Do I get both of them or, you know? So then Devin and, you know, Lovelight and Legacy.com, she posted a new one or they posted a new one of where you could get the I Am Sacred Bear with the I Am Power deck. So you kind of got this like perfect combination. And I was like, mm, yeah, mine. <laughs> so I am going to show you that today and what I got. So I haven't really done much with it today because I literally came home from work. It was a long day, long day at work. I was there until from 8 in the morning till pretty much seven at night. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say I wasn't a happy camper by the time I got off work. And then I came home and I walked in the door and I saw the package sitting on the stairs and I was like, I got a package. I got a package. I literally did that like four times. My roommate was like, I heard ya. And I was like, I know, but how did I get a package? So I opened it up and lo and behold, it's my I am sacred bear. So I'm going to show you how it looked in the in the box because I thought it was so freaking cute. Look at that. Do you see that? The goodies? All my little card fell out. So the first thing that I see is this. And it says, Welcome Home, Sacred Bear. And it says, Your bear was born April 27, 2017. Bear number 10 made. Reminding you it is what's on the inside that counts. Snap a photo and share. Hashtag sacred bear. And then on the back, it says the story of the sacred bear. And I love this. It's like a poem. It's so cute. Thought up in a dream and universally granted, the sacred bear begged to be created. Fur from ideas, eyes from intuition, ears from intention, mouth from affirmation, with two arms and two legs that complete the creation. Yet something was missing, a small piece from you. You'll find it separate. Completion needs you. So take in a breath, set your sights high, let it all out and place it inside. Your wish and your dreams, your hopes and your truths, they'll stay here inside, so safe here with you. But what there is more, Sacred Bear has something in store. It's giving you the tools so you can do more. Go bless, go express, it's time to manifest. And then it has their www.lovelightandlegacy.com. That's how you can find them in their shop. And it has this like little fabric um, star taped here. So that's what I'm believing. It's kind of like when you go to the Build-A-Bear and you hold the heart and you make a wish and like set your attention for it and stick it in your bear. I'm guessing that's what this little star is for. That I can wish my dreams and my hopes and my truths and, you know, take a breath and set my sights high. Put it all, let it out, put it all in here, and place it inside my bear. So, 
That's the first thing I saw. And I love stuff like this. Don't ask me why. I'm I'm simple. Simple minds amused by simple things. And that's me. I'm I have a simple mind. <laughs> I go lie. I'll make fun of myself. So this is I am Sacred Bear. How cute is he? Isn't he cute? Oh my god, I love him. He's so soft and cuddly. Like seriously, when I took him out of the package. Because I won't lie, I did sneak in this and like pull stuff out and kind of get it ready to film. Because we all know when I try to unpackage stuff on on video, I struggle. And we don't need to see me struggling anymore. <laughs> so, this is I Am Sacred Bear. And I just, when I saw him online with the I Am Power deck... The thing that caught my eye is this is not the original sacred bear. Like the original is just like a plain teddy bear and he he does have a little shirt on him, but he's not colorful like this. Like this guy is he's ridiculously colorful. Like look at that. He's like tie-dye, right? And you I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get a close up. Can you see some of the shimmer on the bear? I can see some spots like how it kind of, oh, right there. See how, like, it shimmers? He straight up has glitter in his fur. It's so freaking cute. His fur is, like, glittery, shimmery. And he smells amazing. Like, literally, he smells like sage and herbs. And he smells amazing. And that's because of what's inside, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is how he looks on the outside. So he's like a rainbow-colored tie-dye bear. He's got his little t-shirt. This is I Am Sacred Bear with the moon, the crescent moon and the stars, which I think is their, like, insignia. And then on the back, it says what's on the, it's what's on the inside that counts. And then their lovelightandlegacy.com address again. The fun thing about the sacred bear, the I Am Sacred Bear, is there's a little spot under his shirt in his back that opens up. And there's something inside. That part where it says, Sacred Bear has something in store. It's giving you the tool so you can do more. Let me see if I can get it out. This I didn't get out yet. So I may struggle with this. Ah! It's stiff and I don't want to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> inappropriate thought at inappropriate times. Okay, so this is what's on the inside. And it's a little bag. Oh, it even says love, light, and legacy. I love that. Oh, and I knew it comes with goodies. It comes with, and this is what I smell. Can't mistake that smell. A sage smudging stick, which we all know. I've talked about it before. I love sage. Mm-hmm. Like nobody's business. And then a piece of quartz crystal. Right? Right? I'm excited because I haven't had quartz yet. I don't even have quartz. I know. Shame on me, right? Shame on me. It's like, from what I've been learning, it's like the like number one crystal that you should have. And then I'm thinking this is Amethyst Quartz. I could be wrong. I do have to look up again to see what comes, what normally comes with a sacred bear. But I got this little crystal. And it, it does have like, the camera's not really picking it up, but it does have kind of like a purplish tint to it. So that's why I'm thinking it's an Amethyst Quartz. And then this one, this is wrapped in paper. Oh, that is cool looking. Oh, and it's heavy. I've never seen anything like that. See the edges and then the top. Again. I'm, I should have looked it up before I did this. I should have. But I forgot 
what all it came with, but I knew it came with um, different kinds of crystals and stones, and I knew it came with a sage smudging stick, and I'm losing the bear. So I will look this up, and I'll put this back down in the description box when I'm done, because as I've mentioned before, I don't, I've done my research on some stones and crystals, but I haven't actually been in the like practical part of my journey, which is what I've been starting. So I got new ones to add to my collection. And then I got this cute little bag. I love this bag. It's so adorable. So I'm going to put that up there for now. Now I do love how like he smells like sage. I think that's amazing. Now I'm not going to keep this, this, the stuff that comes inside the sacred bear inside of him because I, I'm obviously going to use it. I'm going to put it on my, um, altar, but I love the idea of putting something in the bear and keeping in there. And I'm really, I'm trying really hard not to rhyme here, people. <laughs> it's just happening. But, um, I thought of how I could get a little like sachet bag kind of like this, like a little, you know, mesh cloth kind of bag and putting some herbs in it, you know, like sage or any kind of protection herbs and some healing herbs and some, you know, just loving energy kind of herbs, putting a little herbal mix together and putting it in a sachet and sticking it inside of him. So he always smells good. And I mean, that I thought that would be so, like, an extra little boost because, you know, what do you want when you cuddle something? You, you know, when you cuddle things, you want to feel protected. And you want, you know, healing and loving energies coming towards you. So how awesome would that be to make a little herbal mix and put it inside, you know, my I Am Sacred Bear? So that when I'm snuggling him, I'm also getting some extra love. Because it's what's on the inside that counts. Right? Right. <laughs> Told you. Simple minds. So, teddy bear collection. I, like I said, I have a huge teddy bear collection. I've collected teddy bears from the time I was a little girl. My dad started kind of giving me teddy bears for holidays and... Like, definitely for Valentine's Day, and it just kind of became a thing. Like, I still have some over on my bookshelf. And, I mean, you've seen my Princess Leia bear, I think, in one of my videos that I made. And I have angel bears, and I have my Valentine bears, and all different kinds of stuff like that. And now I have an I Am Sacred Bear, and he's going to be he's, he's gonna be my sacred bear. He's very important. Um, and I just love him, and I'm going to cuddle with him. But it also got me to thinking how I don't have a fairy bear. I know, right? My reaction was, I don't, have, I don't have a bear that looks like a fairy. I don't have a fairy bear. I, mean, I have tons of angel bears. I have all different kinds of teddy bears, but I don't have one that's like a fairy bear and this like self-made fairy queen over here who loves fairies she have a fairy bear right so i was talking with the fairy godmother and she was saying too she's like so make one and i was like oh, that's a really good idea like i'm gonna make one now and we started like talking and my wheels started going and i started thinking about like how i could go to build a bear and get like build myself a bear and because I think their process is so magical. After I made Princess Leia, I was like, I love this. Like, I love that you can, you know, add your, you know, you're kind of part of making your bear, building your bear. And I didn't really see anything like that they have to dress up a bear as a fairy. But what's stopping me from being able to do it myself? Like, I can make her own little outfits or, you know, find an outfit there or something. Or I can make lots of out little outfits for her. And I can make her a little fairy wand and a floral crown for her head and a pair of fairy wings. So Sacred Bear is going to get a friend and is going to get a fairy bear. And I have the perfect name for her, Fairy Berry or Berry Fairy. I'm not sure which way it's going to go, but that's going to be her name. <laughs> Just thought I would share that with you because we were talking about teddy bears. And... 
maybe I'll do a DIY on that one. Don't worry. I know I've, I promise I got a lot of stuff coming up and I do. I have like three craft videos that's in the work right now. It's just kind of hard being able to actually sit down and start a craft from beginning to end in one day with my work schedule and my regular schedule. So bear with me. <laughs> Get it? Bear with me. <laughs> okay. Enough silliness. Enough silliness. I'm back. I'm back to being professional now. <laughs> So what also comes with I Am Sacred Bear, I just love him, he's just going to sit right here with me, right? We're just going to look at it all together, is the I Am Power Deck. Oh, gosh. The cards are trying to come out the bottom. And this is the case, the I Am Power Deck. If you have not heard of this deck, you really should check it out. I mean, you you really definitely need to check out lovelightandlegacy.com's shop. Devin, if you get a chance to watch this, I'm going to send you a link to this. If you get a chance to watch this, I love all of your creations. And after seeing I Am Sacred Bear and I Am Power Deck, I'm even more in love. And I want to I wanna get so many more of your items. Um, I love that... Your shop is basically a mom and pop kind of shop. Like you, it's family thing. You know, it's a husband and wife doing this together. So I think that's really amazing. Um, and it says on the back here, inside you will find 108 positive affirmations to meditate on. Practice honoring each unique, important, and powerful piece of view. Used for daily affirmations, divination, and a unique spin on traditional mala meditation. Creator Devin Strickler and artist Brittany Bucard, Buckard, Bur Burkard. I'm not sure how to say that, Brittany. I hope I said I, I hope I said it right at one of those points. I'm thinking it's Burkard, Burkard, Burkard. I'm hoping I'm saying that right, but I can tell you right now that you guys have done a phenomenal job on this, Devin and Brittany, you really have. Um, so I'm gonna put that to the side for a second. And Sacred Bear's gonna have to take a seat for now. I'm gonna show you. I did pre-open these. I did not go through them through them. I just opened them because I noticed that they were in two separate packs of plastic. And I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna take those out because, <laughs> I struggle with stuff. So the first thing is, I see it says about Brittany Bucard, the artist. Brittany is a self-taught mixed media artist and stay-at-home mama to two kiddos and four fur babies. You go, girl. Current work often focuses on purely intuitive painting, following any inkling or failing or idea that comes along during the painting process. I love that. Many of her pieces incorporate imagery and themes from fantasy, wildlife, and the natural, ugh, natural and cosmic worlds. Website, BrittanyBucard.com and Instagram at BrittBucard. We'll get a close-up at the bottom there, so if you want to find her. But I love that, and I, I, I love the artwork on these cards, cards. I kind of scan through them a little bit. I'm so excited I'm going to stumble over my words, but this is what the back of them look like. And I, that's one of the, one of the things that drew me to this deck is not only its message, but its illustration, its artwork is beautiful. Like these colors are amazing. You know me, I love my colors. The next card is about Devin. Devin Strickler, the creator. Devin is a practicing psychic medium and an intuitive card reader and treasures her work as a full-time mom. Again, you go girl. Girl bosses. Woo! Her work primarily involves connecting with those deceased and using her intuition as power to heal. Along with her one-on-one -on -one work and readings, she also creates one-of-a-kind malas and other spiritual tools. And then her website is thelovelightandlegacy.com and her Instagram is mysticmoons tarot with the underscore so i'll show the close-up of that if you guys want to follow her and she's amazing i just watched i just got done watching one of her live videos that she does on instagram 
and she did like kind of like a live reading and little ramble, little story time. And I just I love her energy. Devlin, if Devin, Devin, if you're watching this, I love your energy. I love it. And then she has another card that says the three card spread. And I, lo I love this idea. Breathe deeply, relax your shoulders, close your eyes if you choose, and shuffle your deck. When it feels right, pull three cards from anywhere in the deck and lay them face up. And one, two, and three is what you need to know, what you need to show, and what you need to grow. Know, show, and grow. I love that. Or you can do the alternative past, present, and future. But I love that no show and grow. Because when you get into these cards and you see what they say, it really does fit. Um, and it says, how to use. It is our hope that this deck will not only be helpful as an affirmation tool and an oracle deck, but also as a meditation tool. Modeled after a traditional 108 bead mala, it is easy to sink into a deep and positive meditation honoring each unique facet of thyself. Try this. Find a comfortable seated position. Take a few deep inhale, exhale cycles and give your cards a good shuffle. When you feel ready, select and turn one card and say aloud or in your head the mantra on the card face. Continue through the deck at your own pace. At the end, take a deep breath and recognize how unique and amazing you are. And that's another thing that that was the main thing that I loved about these cards was that they are so empowering. Empower, la, 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 la. <laughs> Empowering. I'm still struggling. Like I said, I'm. It's been a pretty exhausting day, and I'm like really excited right now. Um, I've been excited since I came home <laughs> to do this video. Um, but they're also because of the the message that they're getting apart. You know, that I am and saying what you are. Or what you need to know or what you need to show or grow. They also, to me, are like a self-bay. You know, like just loving yourself and putting yourself first. And we all know how important that self-bay has become to me. It's a very powerful message that I believe in. And I feel a lot of more people need to hear. And me being a woman who has, you know, had self-confidence issues and still struggles sometimes from day-to-day -day basis or just needs a daily affirmation to remind myself of how wonderful I am, this deck is the way to go. And the first card that I, I'm not going to go through all of them because there's 108. That's a lot. It's a lot. But the first one is I am motivated and we have, I am sacred. I am aligned. Look at that. Look how beautiful those these cards are. Like, I think of chakras right here. And chakras and auras and um, reiki. Reiki, reiki. I can never pronounce that right. Always fascinate. Always fascinate me. Excuse me. I am divine. I am progress. I am complex. I am simple. I am nurturing. I am fertile. I am love. This one right here. This is like my card. I feel it already. I am love. I am safe. I am complete. Isn't that wonderful? Just say that to yourself. I am complete. You know, there's not a piece of you that's missing. You know, you are you as a whole. I am helpful. I am beginning. I am open. I am magic. I love that. Look at that. It's beautiful. I am success. I am kind. I am awesome. I am vibrant. Ooh. I am worthy. There we go. That's a good powering um, message right there that I talk about in self Bay. I am worthy. I am unstoppable. I am driven. I am fearless. I am release. I am breath. I am beautiful. I am power. 
I am organized. Ah, they're so like new, so they're like slippery. I am bold. I am aware. I am happy. I love this one. I love that vibrant yellow. Mellow yellow. Very happy, energetic yellow. I am abundant. I am receiving. I am thankful. I am teacher. I am light. I am shadow. I am unique. Maybe we will go through all of these because they're really awesome. I am vulnerable. I am guru. Gur guru. Guru. <laughs> guru. <laughs> I can't talk. I am child. I am creative. There we go. It's like a main card right there for me. I am crown. I am third eye. I am throat. I am heart. I am solar plexus. I am sacral. I am root. I am earth. I am water. I am fire. I am air. I am. And then this one she did in tonight's reading for um, somebody. And it says, I am. It has a blank space underneath. And it says underneath it, add your own idea or name. I'm like, look at the color on that. Like, it looks like, a, to me, it looks like night. Like, looking up at the stars at night and the moon and such forth. Or it could be an eye. Hmm? I am woman. I am man. I am untamed. I am content. I am human. I am connected. I am manifestation. I am flexible. I am intention. I am genuine. I am student. I am hope. I am calm. I am secure. I am humble. I am intelligent. I am composed. I am brilliant. I am friendly. I am presence. Oh, I love this one. I am time. I am ready. I am confident. I am inspired. I am resourceful. I am limitless. I got to show this one. Because this one looks beautiful. I am limitless. Like just reading these, I feel good about myself. I am sexy. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm nerdy and I know it. <laughs> and I ain't afraid to show it. Show it. Show it. I do. Almost every video. You see it. You know. I am me. I am you. I am blessed. I am valuable. I am healthy. I am learning. I am surrender. I am magnet. I am humor. I like this one. Look at all those colors. I am patience. I am here. I am traveling. Oh, okay. I got to show this one too. Look at that dirt road, path, grassy hills. I am sensitive. I am entrepreneurial. I am independent. I am strong. I am compassionate. I am forgiving. I am forgiven. I am fortune. I am fun. I totally am fun. Fun, fun, fun till your daddy takes your T-bird away. I am timeless. I am peace. I am pause. I am positive. And that's your last one. So I'm going to show, because there's quite a bit. I'm just going to span them out a bit. So you can just see, like, the color on them. It's just beautiful, right? Like I, like I said, there's a lot of cards in here. We're losing them because they're so slippery. They're slippery little suckers. But that is the power deck. The I am power deck. I should say. And I can't wait to use these. Like, start using these as readings. And I know for certain I'm going to use them every morning. I'm going to try to. Because I've been trying. I've been getting up really early lately. Like, earlier than I need to. Like, before my alarm clock even goes off, I've been getting up early and not being able to fall back asleep. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. <sighs> there used to be a time where 
I could sleep. I could sleep till like, till there's no tomorrow. Like sleep like Rip Van Winkle. Before you know it, it'll be 40 years. And looking back on it, like, I think about that and I think about how, um, like how nice it was to sleep in, but at the same time I was kind of like wasting the day away by sleeping in. So I've kind of been liking that I've been getting up in the mornings and I'm awake and I'm actually like doing stuff. Um, like I'll read or I'll start writing something down. Um, sometimes I even get up and I do some like housework. Like I'll do like dishes or something mundane. <laughs> but I had this thought of getting in touch with, you know, just your spiritual self. Um, for me, it would be in the morning having time with, just having time with Jesus for me. Having time with Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Having time with Father God and Mother God. And, um, you know, just taking time to give thanks, give, you know, and count my blessings and just kind of get right with the Lord and the lady for me. And I thought of it because I love to watch, I love, or I love to watch and listen because sometimes I don't get to watch, but I, um, get I listen to podcasts, and every Sunday I try to listen to Joel Osteen. I just, I love him. I love his messages, um, and I love his idea of positive thinking. Now, for me, it works. For me, that's like my time, like my kind of church time, my time to um, give praise, so to speak, because that's that Christian part of me still. Like, I still consider myself a Christian in some ways. Christo-pagan. I guess still believe in the Christian God and Jesus. But, um, I will listen to Joel on Joel Osteen on Sundays. And he said something about, it was, it was a while back, like a couple months ago. But it was something that stuck with me. And I thought about it. And I was like, you know what? He's right. And he says about, you know, before you go out and you meet other people, you know, before you go out and you talk to so-and-so or you go to work or, you know, you say hello to your family or say hello to your, your kids, you know, before you have a moment to talk to another person, you should talk to God. Now, for any of you, it could be anything else, you know, like whatever God, you know, you worship, whatever goddess you worship, whatever it is you worship, just take that moment, take that time to get, get right with them, you know, talk to them, have a moment alone with them. And 